Welcome back to McPhee Ford. Today I'm going to be taking a look at this brand new 2023 Ford F-150 Heritage. This XLT F-150 is finished in Area 51, which is one of a couple colors that are offered with the Heritage package. This is their first Heritage we've received here at McPhee Ford, and we're going to take a quick walk around the outside, and then we will hop into the interior. I'll kind of show you some of the differences that you get with the Heritage package. Now, the Heritage is a package. It's not a trim model, uh, like you might think. It is a package that's available on XLT, and this one has the 302A, so like the high package, uh, which you would find typically on an XLT model. Now, we're going to take a quick walk around the outside here. Uh, we'll start with the front end, where the grill is uh, definitely different. So we do have a different grill, nice body-colored surround, and then sort of like a honeycomb style here in the middle. With the, uh, the 302A, the high package, we do have the LED headlight and also the LED fog lights now a big difference with the heritage package is the paint uh, so one of the main things you might see is that it's the truck's blue but the bumper is black and if we come around to the side here we also have the black lower two-tone and then also the black roof so that is something ford does with the heritage model so we do have a gloss black bumper uh, it's not matte or satin it is a full gloss finish And we come around to the side here. Another thing you get is the wheel option. So this is an upgraded wheel that's on a regular XLT, but it's included with the Heritage package. And it's the same 20 inch wheel that you see uh, that quite often on XLTs and Lariats. Uh, but again, it's included with the Heritage package. It's wrapped in a 275-60 all-terrain tire. So again, we do have that two-tone kind of follows along the bottom of the door here. And of course up here, we do have the black fully black painted roof now a weird little transition that ford does for the black and the blue is this little design here that they do now it seems to me that it's just a little bit of a sticker uh, but if we come onto the back here we do have more of it so it kind of runs along the back here body color door handles which is definitely nice and we also do have the black platform running board this truck, of course, has four-wheel drive, so we do have that 4x4 sticker right there. And, of course, the rear bumper is also painted black, and we do have the inlay as well for the F-150 stamping in the tailgate, which you would find on a black appearance package truck. We do have the inlay as well, which definitely looks good. We do have a class four hitch receiver. It does include the four and seven pin connections right there. Of course, rear view camera, soft opening tailgate, we have the tailgate step and the tailgate work surface, uh, which is an option on this particular F-150. We also have the 400 watt inverter outlet. We have LED box lighting and lots and lots of tie down points. Now, if we take a look at the interior, one thing I do want to point out is the door sills. So the door sills and all the door jams are all black. And of course, on the wall on the bottom of the door here. So they're all black. They're not blue, which you may think is the main color, but black is actually the main color for the, uh, for the F-150 here. And the paint code, two different paint codes, KU and UM. So UM is the black, and then KU is for the uh, the blue Area 51. But if we take a look at the door panel here, we do have a different seat as well. So Ford did do change up the seats a little bit. Kind of a heritage design, retro design, uh, with the sort of ribbing in the seat. But it is cloth on the XLT model. 10-way power adjustments as well. They're also heated. Very comfortable. I think Ford did a great job with these, these, uh, these seats here. Take a look at the door panel. Very similar design to a non-heritage package. Ford didn't really change it at all. Uh, of course, all your power controls right here, lots of storage. And we do all of the, uh, the lighting controls are on the left side of the steering wheel. But if we hop inside here, take a look at the key fob. The key is also unchanged. Uh, it is a keyless fob. We have remote start on there and also the tailgate release. And push button start. But powering this particular F-150 Heritage is the 3.5 liter EcoBoost engine. It's a twin turbo V6, makes 400 horsepower and a whopping 500 foot-pounds of torque. So it's a massively powerful engine and it's paired to the 10-speed automatic transmission, which is standard across the, the board for the F-150. And again, this one does have four wheel drive. But if you take a quick sort of glance around the interior, uh, most of it is unchanged. We do have the little 75th anniversary on the screen, which actually is uh, on all F-150s, not just the heritage package. 
but one of the main differences is this right here. So the center console, we do have the little stamping here in the leather since 1948 F-Series Heritage Edition. Uh, so this you don't see on a, a non-heritage package. Uh, so we do have that change. It also includes the interior work surface. So this is technically an option on most XLTs, uh, but Ford actually included, includes it with the, uh, with the heritage. So that's definitely nice. Steering wheel is again, unchanged, but we do have cruise control here, uh, controls on the right side for your center, gauge cluster screen, all of that. Uh, we do have the Sync 4 12 inch display. Have your audio right here, includes Sirius XM, you have satellite radio, all that, all your Bluetooth settings, built-in navigation. We also have wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, which is way more convenient than having a wired connection. Uh, so having that wireless, again, huge, huge convenience feature, all your various settings in there, and some of your key features. And again, we do have four-wheel drive, includes four high and also four low, and we do have a locking rear differential which is definitely nice. A little bit more traction there. And the climate control system is in the middle, which is dual zone. And we do have the automatic function. So you can just set it to a temperature and it will automatically adjust for you. We also have heated seats right there again for both driver and passenger. Some USB connections, USB-C and A. And to activate the, or to use the interior work surface, we can push that button there and that will actually fold the shifter down. And we do have a little, again, that little handle right here. And you can fold it all the way open and now you have a nice flat surface. And you can maybe throw your lunch on here or a laptop, whatever you need to do. And so you have that nice flat surface and you don't see that on any other vehicle. So that's definitely a huge bonus with the Heritage package in specific. Uh, we do have a 400 watt inverter outlet, just like the bed and also a 12 volt right above that. Of course, lots of storage, dual glove box. But if we take a look into the rear seat, very similar design as the front. We do have that sort of ribbing here in the back and that nice little design there in the middle. Great looking seat. We can also fold them completely up and we do have that flat floor. It's a completely flat floor, which is a huge, huge benefit to two F-150 buyers. Having the flat floor makes it so much easier. You can load your tools or your dog, your pet, whatever you want here in the back and you don't have to worry about any unevenness in the floor. So that's a huge, huge benefit. But if we fold these back down, we also do have another series of outlets back here, another 400 watt inverter outlet, USB, and then also 12 volt right above that. So we can keep everything charged up, no problem at all. We also have some carpeted floor mats right here and we do have the box link cleat system, which actually does provide additional tie down points for the bed. And of course, being a super crew model, uh, we do have loads and loads of space back here. But we'd love to know what you think about the 2023 F-150 Heritage Edition in the comments below. If you're interested in this truck, it is for sale here at McPhee Ford. But that'll pretty much do it for this video. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.